This is your clear and accurate business record. <laughs> Here I have what looks like seven introductions. And by introductions, it's really references to events. Yes. It doesn't have the names of the individuals yes. who he styled yes. at all. For it just has events. Yes, for confidentiality purposes. For confidentiality purposes? Yes. Don't be so ridiculous. <laughs> confidentiality purposes because these are stars these are Nollywood icons these are people that they would not want their names to be put in just because of you want to just clothe them put their clothes on and stuff like that so obviously I had to just put that this event this was what it happened this was how it went on what yes <laughs> you were concerned that despite the fact you had a confidential contract between you and Richard. Yes. That if you were to write down the names of the people he styled yes. on a piece of paper, that would be so sensitive yes, that it, it could end up in some kind of national scandal of some sort. Yes, you have to be very careful. <laughs> data gets missing these days. Data goes missing? Yes. This isn't data! <laughs> Nonzo, do you suspect that perhaps Richard has done work that he hasn't disclosed here? Yes, I do, because that was why if you, if, if you look at this, my judge, another evidence which of our text message, the WhatsApp, I purposely asked him, I hope you know the total amount you still have left to pay up. You don't know the total amount? I was trying to get him to confirm that, because obviously he had done that before saying this is the amount, because he keeps changing the numbers. No, that's not, can I say something? That's, yes. not, that's not the point. What's the point? The reason why I compiled that in the manner that I did is when we had the first arguments about the amounts. £3,020 is what I said I owed him, but he had a figure at the time that was more than that. He has a figure in mind which he's suing you today for, which is £4,745. Yes, in total. But prior to that, when he said 3,000... No, no, I was listening to Richard. So after the first red carpet event and after the styling of one male, uh, the amount came to a total of 3,020 pounds. But at the time, uh, I think it's uh, during our exchange of WhatsApps when he was uh, trying to find out how much I owed him, um, he said... Uh, he, he gave a figure, which uh, I think was, it was over... Uh, can I Can I finish, please? He gave a figure which was over £3,020. So, at the time, I hadn't uh, worked out what the figure was. So, I, in the text or the WhatsApp, whatever it was, I said I was going to go and check my records. So, that's when I started... Scri what records? Scri scribbling this... What records? Where are the records? Dog eat them? You can see that, no. my lord. My George, you can see that. That's, That's not a record, exactly. sir. Exactly. That's something that accidentally ended up in a pocket in the dry cleaners. Now, uh, anyway, that prompted me to write what these record? things. What record? Talking, sorry. What record, sir? The record of the introductions. Where's the record? What does it look like, this record? If I asked for your records, you would want to show them to me because part of this case is to demonstrate the number of people that you dispute you were introduced to. Where is that record? I don't, we don't have the record here. Well, it's not here. OK. Good, not here. But we know it exists. Where is it? It's not here. Well, it's not here. Where is it? At home. At home where? Where at home? In a drawer? In a drawer. What drawer? <laughs> In the bedroom. The bedroom drawer. Left or right of the bed? <laughs> right. The right? Yes. What else is in the drawer? I'd rather not disclose what else is in the drawer. <laughs> but, um... Is it in a folder? What does it look like? It's in a folder. A folder? Yeah. What sort of folder? What's the colour of the folder? Black. The black folder. Is there a record, sir? Yes. Why didn't you bring it to court? Bearing in mind there's a dispute about who you were introduced and the number of events you've done, it's very easy to resolve because you kept a contemporary record which is in your drawer. Is there a record? Is there a record? It may not matter to your case. There's no record. Thank you very much. <laughs> you shouldn't have told me that there was, because that makes me distrust you. However, there is discussions between you and WhatsApp. Let's have a look. Now, according, <laughs> according to my records, it's not been up to this, but you have really been patient, and I will round it up to 4,000. Is that you talking, sir? Yes. Richard, you've come again with always cutting off my money. How did you arrive to 4,000 now? It's meant to be 4,745. I really don't understand. Yes. And I presume, sir, the reason you know that is because of 
this document? Yes, my, my George, yes. And that was because the last two, which he did, I, I presume that he did not put that because I kept quiet for him to come out with that. In that message, you effectively admit to owing him £4,000 in agency fees. If that's right, why haven't you paid him most of this money? How much has he paid you? So far, he's only paid me £380. In well, total. why? I haven't paid him what I owe to him because um, at the time I received some payment uh, from the first red carpet event, I had some family issues that I had to sort out. I had to prioritise those issues. Yeah. One thing I'm absolutely sure about is, and this is important because some people may not understand the sums involved here and might think this case is frivolous. Nonzi, you are correct that the Frankly, the money that goes into this film industry is, might not be Hollywood money, but it's a lot. So, for example, I absolutely am sure that on one occasion you were paid £15,000. No, is that right? Not up to that, around, around about that, yes. Around about that money, which 20% would be, what, £3,000? Yes. That's what we're talking about. This is high end. Yes, definitely, definitely. I want to be clear because people might not know that. Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge rind of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now. That's an order.